from from there over the last year or so and I recently went and got a few bits and pops and this as you can probably tell by reading is a little game Zoom music game. It is a little fun game where you use kazoos to try and make people guess what song you're doing. inside you have some instructions you have four different colored kazoos you have some little music tokens a little pen and cards and it's one of those pens that write on like whiteboards and stuff so I'm guessing there's something that you can wipe off It wasn't very expensive, I think it was maybe 4 or 5 euros Which I thought was pretty good for a fun little game like that I really like kazoos I actually like kazoos in real music too <laughs> I don't know, I think that fun way of imitating like a little trumpet or something and it can actually work really well in a real song so we have a kazoo it's a new karaoke play the game play this legendary game with your friends and here we have a picture of someone wiggling their thumb Get a cool wawa effect Place the fingers on one hand over the top of the kazoo And lift them gently when you play the kazoo And then we have wash the kazoo Wash the kazoo after every use Remove the cap before you rinse the kazoo under the tap Okay, so that's because you'll be playing with a bunch of different people This is going to be so much fun, I really can't wait So here are the cards Kazoo music game written on the back And in front we have Back to the 90s And then it's all translated in different languages Golden Oldies Song in your native language Kids Song All these kind of quite vague things I feel like I'm missing something because these cards don't have anything to write on them I think there might have been something else in the box that has fallen out Ah uh, yes, there was indeed this Okay, 
Okay, so it's a little board, a little whiteboard, which makes perfect sense since we have a whiteboard pen. So I'm guessing you get your category. These are category cards. And then you write your song here so you can't cheat. And then you take one of these kazoos. And then you actually blow into, well, you don't actually blow into it. You um, put your mouth on this end, the kind of larger open end, and you kind of hum into it. It's, it's weird. You want to blow into it like a trumpet or recorder or something, but you actually hum into it. And here, where this circle is, is a kind of little piece of... I don't know what, maybe like thick paper or something that vibrates and it makes a kind of fun sound. Okay. So they're kind of cheap little kazoos that are very plasticky and not very well finished. Probably don't have a great sound, but you can actually get kazoos with a, a not bad sound that you can really use in music. the first thing I got. Let's look at the rest. I got a few things for my son. I got these little plastic spoons. My son, at the time of filming this video, is five and a half months. I say at the time of filming this video because um, with my new work schedule and the baby and stuff, um, I'm trying to pre-film as much as I can to not get caught out without a video for a week or two, which has happened in the past, but now I'm kind of in a bulk filming, pre-filming kind of thing, <laughs> schedule, and I have been able to put out two videos a week for quite a while now, so it's working for me, I'm gonna stick to it. <laughs> so sorry if in some videos I'm talking about my son who is like one month old and then suddenly in the next video is five and a half months. spoons are going to be for his first meals, which he will be having in a couple of weeks. I'm very excited about it. Can't wait. I'm going to do quite, um, quite good baby stuff actually. Baby clothes are really cute and the accessories are quite cute too. It's a nice sounding cardboard. And the next thing that I have is something for my son also. And it is this really cute hat. How cute is that? It's a lovely little brown fox. There are ears. Nine months to twenty-four months. And it was Euros. Yeah, 
six year olds. How cute is that? And I love the fact that they have these little earmuffs on the side. Look at those little earmuffs. son has got a lot of fox related gifts so it's kind of become his little spirit animal so whenever I see something fox related I'm kind of drawn to it ever since I was pregnant and my partner started getting stuff already it was always fox related I guess his favourite colour is orange so it does make sense so this is a little brown fox hat and he's gonna look so cute in it <laughs> I can already tell and the back is like that white band and the little ears too okay I got a few things for my daughter's craft kit which is actually getting pretty big and the first thing I got her are these little scissors So they actually have little markings on them to measure up to five centimeters. <laughs> How cute is that? I wonder if it's actually useful. I hope it is. So these are a really cool design or just for fun. I hope it's practical design. for her craft kit and this is just a little bag of multicolored feathers well actually different colored feathers they're not actually multicolored the bag is multicolored so we have some blue feathers some orange feathers green feathers, some pink feathers, and some either darker pink or red feathers, and then some yellow feathers, so very bright colors. I think that's going to be really fun for her too. She likes cutting things up and doing little collages and stuff, so And last, but not least, I have this mega tub of crafty things. It's called a hobby bucket. So basically, it's like pom-poms and pipe cleaners, stickers, glitter glue,
can't wait to see what she does with it. There's some sequins too. A little bag of sequins. Sequins, glitter glue, stickers, pom pom. Glitter glue, stickers, pom poms, pipe cleaners. In this hobby bucket. Glitter foam stickers, one packet of spangles. <laughs> I think that's the sequence. Four tubes of glitter glue. That's funny because um, you have the glitter bon bombs and then glitter chenille, which is the French. <laughs> and one packet. Of spangles. And the good thing about this is the top too. So she can put lots of different things in here to kind of store those loose ends, especially when she does like um, cutting things up and collage and stuff like that. Things get everywhere. So this is going to be her big tub of collage stuff. Lovely.